Okay, this is the beast. This is a 1987 General Electric Weathertron heat pump packaging. Now this thing has been through the damn mill. There it is. In all of its glory. Still kicking after all these years. And ready for another year of preventive maintenance. Believe it or not. Alright, she's all opened up now. <laughs> you can see that she's a little rusty. Uh, she's been around the block. Some crap we gotta clean out of here. Some cobwebs. The coil is pretty clean. I cleaned it last year. Uh, it was just caked in crap last year, but I'll hit it again this year. Uh, the insulation is falling off the top of the door up there. I gotta put some adhesive on there. You can see there's an older style contactor. Though I think they went around, they went out around the mid 80s. I want to say they started using the ones we're more familiar with now. Uh, mechanical defrost controls instead of circuit boards. Uh, transformer still looks the same. Two capacitors down there for the compressor and outdoor fan motor. There's a capacitor for the indoor fan motor. And we're going to check all those. And what else? You can see down here. It is all aluminum coil. Oh, yeah. It's not a new idea, that's for sure. And you can just see the diameter of those coil tubes, like half inch. It's just so much larger than you'd see nowadays. But So, just an old unit. And we're going to make sure she keeps on going for as long as possible. Had to give it a few minutes to set up, or I don't know, a couple minutes to set up a little bit. Uh, then you put them together, and they form a good bond. Hopefully, it won't go flying off, getting sucked into the blower motor. All right, we have our GE Weathertron condenser inundated and coil cleaner. I'm going to let it sit here for a few minutes, and I'm going to spray it out so we can put everything back together and start the unit up, and make sure everything's going smooth. Here's the old GE running. Uh, we just started it off. So I'm going to let it clean that evaporator coil off of the condensate. And the uh, pressures will level off then. And uh, we'll go ahead and get our efficiency measurements in a few minutes after it clears that coil. Our last unit for today is a ream package unit heat pump. I'm about to clean the coil out. There's our scroll compressor down in there in the blanket. So I'm going to spray this thing off when we get down to business. Here's our old trusty ream mmm coil. Uh, looks a little rough, but it's been around since I think 1996 is what year this model is. And I'm getting that information from the heat kit serial number. There's our blower motor, looks a little bit dirty. I have to wipe that off. There's our control panel up here. And our heater down here. Our heater was fine. A wire had come uh, touching the side of uh, the capacitor, so that's why it was. Showing that, that it was grounded, so we remedy that. I'm gonna clean up this evaporator coil, and then I can seal everything up, and we can start her up and see how she does. Well, I'll say this: the ream is definitely the quietest unit so far. Um, there's a compressor blanket, and the fan's just very quiet as well. Uh, I do believe a 1996 model. Uh, right now, we'll let it run for a few minutes, let it clear the coil of all the cleaner. Uh, we'll give it 10 or 15 minutes and we'll start taking the efficiency measurements and uh, make sure the charge is correct. Okay, we're on the last unit, the ream, and I'm getting our efficiency measurements, doing our wet bulb at the return, our wet bulb at the supply, and our CFM. So I've got our wet bulb at the return, it's 53.4. I'm going to go ahead and log that, switch it over to the supply, and then get our CFM measurement. I would like to say something. Uh, the ream unit, this is one of the outlets in the large room that it's located in. And it has the most airflow of all the outlets. I mean, it's just kicking. You can see the stuff moving on the bug pictures there. And a lot of this air is going to go whoop, because the return grows right there. That was poor planning. Um, I'm all, I almost want to just take that outlet and just, just blank it off. The room would be better off. We only get 500 CFM, we're blowing probably 150 of it right back to the return. So, 
food for thought. Well, we're all done with this one. I'm trying to get back in the old big white van and go all the way home to our house right across the street. It's my kind of service call, buddy.